Tonight, we have a deal to raise the debt ceiling and avoid a default. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy announced that negotiators had reached an agreement in principle just two hours ago. However, there is still the question of whether enough lawmakers will support this compromise measure. CBS News correspondent Christian Benavides has the latest. After weeks of negotiations, we have come to an agreement in principle. A deal has been reached with nine days to go until the government cannot pay its bills. It's now in the hands of Congress to get it to the president before June 5th. Speaker McCarthy said he spoke to Biden over the phone twice on Saturday. There are no new taxes, no new government programs. There's a lot more within the bill. We still have more work to do tonight to finish all the uh, writing of it. I as he left Washington for the holiday weekend on Friday, Mr. Biden seemed to hint that a deal could soon be on the horizon. With regard to the debt limit, things are looking good, and very optimistic. Sources tell CBS News a possible deal includes raising the nation's borrowing limit and capping some spending for two years, while keeping Social Security, Medicare, veteran services, and military off the table for reductions. There's also talk of shifting $10 billion of new funding meant to ease backlogs at the IRS and using it to pay for other programs, possibly including health care and transportation. I expect to finish the writing of the bill checking with the White House and speaking to the president again tomorrow afternoon. Republicans have pushed White House negotiators on expanding federal work requirements on some of the people who receive federal assistance, including benefits to help buy food. With most lawmakers gone for the holiday weekend, Speaker McCarthy said he anticipates a vote on the bill on Wednesday. Cristian Benavides, CBS News. If Congress cannot pass this deal, experts warn that a default could lead to economic calamity. The stock market would likely plummet and interest rates would rise, potentially sending the U.S. into a recession.